Josh from Cyrus here. I'm currently in Leicester in the UK. Um, I'm heading to a body mod specialist in order to get my NFC chip put in. It's a procedure that's hard to get done in Melbourne, so I decided that I would take a break from touring over here and go and get that done. There's a body mod specialist named Genova Rain that I'm going to meet in order to get it put in. So, uh, this chip is uh, about the size of a grain of rice, and um, it's going to go in here. And uh, it is an XNT NFC RFID chip. Um, it's compatible with NFC readers uh, like those on your Android phone, and uh, it's also compatible with RFID readers of the 13.56 megahertz spectrum. Um, and it's rewritable and a lot of fun, and hopefully, I'm going to be able to use it to do all kinds of fun little things. Okay, so this is the loader. Um, here's my hand for comparison. I have a relatively small hand to give you an idea, so it's not that giant, but the end of it is really fuck off massive. It looks like it's very, very sharp. And um, the chip, is it like, it's about halfway down already, yeah? Kind of, yeah, so like it's somewhere about here. Oh, okay, yeah. so it has a small amount of travel. But yeah, only a little bit. Yeah. It's basically like a plunger, very basic, kind of primitive, it's kind of, hi. Hi, this is, this is Genova Range, she's the, uh, the amazing body mod person. She's going to push the end down, like yeah. kind of primitive, and she's going to push into your skin. But after everything single use, it's pre stabilized We get a lot of stuff from Dangerous Things. So yeah. Uh, cool guys, um, it's a Marg Rafter that runs this. He's also doing some cool things with um, some payment protocols in his chips. Ah, yeah, I saw that and like Bitcoin and that and that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, so. it's all coming. So uh, yeah, follow personal follow Bitcoin story. storage <laughs> coming <laughs> soon. Oh yeah. And also, whilst I've got you, I know that the next appointment is is coming soon, so I won't take too much of your time. Yeah. But okay, so. Um, do you get people getting back to you, you know, months later saying this is what I did with it and what's the most interesting thing that someone's done with it I so would far? love for people to get back to me, but honestly it's like getting blood out of stone. Um, I've had a few people get back to me, but mostly I chase them. I like to chase after people and find out what they've done with stuff. Um, uh, also, so it's like uh, the guy who starts his car with it, someone who really does their motorbike. That's um, cool. Yeah, so yeah. Like, um, I've got a guy who is in a band, so he puts his band on the website. On ah, the so that's what that's what I'm gonna do. Because ah, like cool. I'm always talking to people about the band. Right, so now I don't even need to get back to you. I can tell you now. Yeah. And you know, you, you're having that like 20 minute conversation. They're like, "What is it? Electronic? Is it metal? Like, what is it?" And you're like, "I just want to be able to go bam, like here, yeah. boop, band camp, buy my shit." And, and, you know, like, yeah, that's, that's what it's for. For sure, so. exactly. Yeah. Um, there's also, you can put, like, uh, you can claim some travel passes on there. There's a guy who, uh, with the airline's permission, he put his boarding pass on there, so he could, like, boop. Yeah, oh, nice. Um, you can store contact information on there, like V-card style contacts, yeah. so that just passes and automatically kind of logs in the other person's phone. Um... But I think the big one everyone's waiting for is the payments thing. Like, well, I don't. So, so the XNT probably won't be the one to do that. I, I don't think one. so. Yeah, but, but, uh, yeah, it's it's such a proprietary system. And, yes. But uh, I have seen people try to melt down their credit cards. Yeah, yeah. Get the it, thing get is, though, just... if this was the card, okay, you've got this wire that runs around the inside of the plastic. What people don't realize is like an antenna to power the thing. So it's when you actually melt it down, it's not like a little chip, but it's a little mm. chip with this with this coil inside. Yeah. So people yeah. having to, to to do the coil as well as the chip, and it gets a bit messy, and it, it and it's not designed. You know, it breaks yeah. and stuff. So. so this is this is what exactly what they're working on at Dangerous Thing. And uh, the sister company to that, which is Vivo Key Technologies, um, and they're doing, they're basically having to make their own chips now. We've got to a point where whatever we were sort of generically using from other applications like dog tags and stuff like that. Uh, like like pet tags, not like army dog tags. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, so we're now at a stage where we need to make something that's like fit for purpose. It's purpose built. So we're getting kind of longer antenna area. So whereas this chip is like the size of a grain of rice, that doesn't really give you enough space to have a long enough antenna for the reach of uh, NFC and high frequency uh, communications. So, yeah. Um, kind of like if I was to if I was to draw it out and give you an idea of size. 
Like we've been putting them in the backs of people's finger. So oh, I've seen those. Like, yeah, now, yeah, now so. the implant looks a little more intense at the moment for those because there's no anesthetic and that requires a scalpel and stuff. A little bit, yeah. So you'd have like a coily, coily wire like this. Much neater, of course. Yeah. And then you've got your little bit of chip that's kind of on this, the end of it here. And then the whole thing is like coated in um, a biosafe polymer. So again, this is like a bio glass tag. So in here, this is like a little chip in a little glass cylinder. Yeah. Um, which is great for the size that it is. It, it won't break. You're more likely to break your hand in an accident, and then the chip would probably still survive yeah, even right. if you did. Um, but when you're talking something that's like on this scale, you're going to put like maybe here or maybe down the side of your hand. You can't just go wrapping all this in glass and expecting that to survive and that kind of scale. Yeah, you've got to find the right place and yes. it's and, and it's it's probably not that flexible as well. Exactly. So this, this biosafe polymer that they're working on at uh, DangerousThings.com, very flexible, really easy for implanting as well because it just slides right under the skin. So God, well, um, maybe that'll be my next one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sounds kind of scary, but um, even the size of something like this, the incision kind of goes across here, it's kind of small, it's like this. And then the rest of it just slides under and you get like maybe two, maybe three stitches across here. So it's it's not as... It's, the, it's next level, but it's not that, it's not really yeah. that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not like replacing your arm or anything yet, it's still just like... That, that'll be level three. Yeah, I'll, I'll come yeah, to yeah. you in six months for that one, shall right. I? Yeah. I'll book you in. <laughs> okay, all right, let's do this. No thumb inside. Oh, okay. Oh, like the, 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 the I'm going to break my yeah, yeah, yeah. thumb if I punch you like a toddler kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. And that's how we're going to see where you're like super passionate. Oh, yeah. That's where we want it to end up on, like on the, the top of the, the mound. Right? Yeah. And then relax a little bit, and then I can climb. There's like an interesting point where you're kind of loose. Yeah, loose. Yeah, this. There's an interesting point where your skin changes from your palm skin to you know your back and your hands. Yeah, yeah. And then you go just like just behind that. Oh, and then most of what you're going to feel is that. Cool. So I'm going to pinch like this, and you're yeah. going to get a little scratch. Yeah. That's the end of that. So, I'm going to get a little plaster ready here. So, nice and warm. Alright, I am not looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just don't look. Just focus on your breathing. So, just take a real big breath in for me. Well done. Oh, nice. There we go. There we go. I can't even. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, you can just. When yeah. later on, if you do the, the thumb inside fist thing again, yeah, you'll yeah. see it really obviously. Yeah. Okay, um, so yeah, I wasn't looking, so I hopefully got that, but if I didn't, um, it was actually quite painless. Um, as I expected it would be because I'm not afraid of needles um, and I think most of that's psychological. Guys, seriously, I can't handle much and that was nothing so... Dude, get one of these. Get ten. Go on. <laughs>